Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? How you doing? My name Mo. What was it? Mo. Mog? Ma. Like you going to the mall. Oh, mall. Okay, yeah. okay, thank you. <laughs> and how old are you? 29. And what do you do? I work at a broker dealer as an uh, employee conduct officer. Okay, cool. Uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? For fun, I'm, I like playing basketball, going out, sightseeing. I love food, so I like going out to eat, you know, shit like that. Uh -huh. And I like hanging out with friends. Okay, nice. Yeah. Uh, what are some things you look for in a woman? In a woman, I like my woman kind. Sweet, of course, you gotta be fine as hell. <laughs> I like my money, I look good, and then also, then she take care of her health. Okay, you feel me? She eat the right shit, she go to the gym, she take care of her body. I like that. Okay, and now, what are some of your deal breakers? My deal breakers, just uh, I mean, a mean woman, a woman who always angry, who got anger issues, and I also don't like like a sense of entitlement. Mm -hmm. Like, I, if I feel like you entitled in any type of area, though, I'm, I'm not going to, like, it's going it's gonna to make me wanna, not want to be around you. Okay. So, yeah, it's like stuff like that. All right. So, we haven't got any pop balloons yet. Okay. You're the first of this episode, I'll tell you that. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, people, we're going to be reviewing just a small segment of the Pop the Balloon and Find Love show, where we kind of noticed that the women was giving a man a hall pass simply because of the way he looked versus the men that they have rejected just for the way that they speak. And come on now, check out the way this man is talking. He's using a lot of ebonics. He's slurring a lot of his words. He cursed a bit, and none of the women popped their balloon. If these women wasn't attracted to this man, they would have popped their balloon a long time ago and said, oh, I don't like the way that he talks. He talks all ghetto and hood. He uses too much slang for me. None of these women got any issues with the language that Tyrone is using right now. And we all know why. All right. So with that being said, I'm actually going to switch it on over to you. There are okay. quite a few girls. So for the first round, I'm going to have you pop three balloons. Three balloons? Three balloons right. based off of what you're seeing. Whoever doesn't really fall right into your type. So okay. let me give you a pick. All right. There you go. And then go ahead and pop those three. Shit, it's tough. <laughs> hey. Okay, two more. And one more. One more. Okay, since we're here, we'll start here first. All right. All right, if we can have your name and age. My name is Renee. I'm 25. And Renee, why did you have your balloon unpopped? So I, I like your accent. Where are you from? I'm from Philly. I like your accent. Thank um, you. I like your outfit today. Thank you. Um, you're not my initial type because of the height, but like I said, oh, well. I did like the things that you were saying. I like your accent. Very handsome. Appreciate it. Thank you're you. Welcome. Thank you. All right. So why did we end up popping her balloon? Uh, just, just not really my type for real. Okay. You feel me? That's really it, though. Yeah. Okay. So what makes her not really your usual type? Um, she's a little more on the taller side. That's all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, right. All right, thank you. And then we did pop two more. Let's start over here. Your name and age. I'm Kay. I'm 27. Okay, and Kay, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Um, he just wasn't ugly. <laughs> I like I like what he was talking about. Um, yeah. Okay, nice. So now, why do we end up popping hers? Honestly, she looked good, but I don't like chest tats. Respect it. I appreciate that, though. Yeah, I didn't like that chest tat either. And for her to come on the show wearing a dress that reveals the chest tat, she thinks it's cute. Because some women would have been mature enough by now to cover it up. No problem. And then we did pop one more down here. Your name and age, and why did you have your balloon unpopped? Hello, Kia29. How you doing? I, good, how are you? I'm good. I couldn't really hear what you were saying, so I was just giving you an opportunity to hear a little bit more. Okay. Okay, but is he your usual type? Um, um, he looks like my cousin. Shout out to my cousin TJ. Hey, <laughs> but we're an attractive family, so you're not. Yeah. Ugly. yeah. Okay, okay. So why do we end up popping hers? Uh, she looked good. I just ain't like the glitter around her chest. Oh my God, I had that. Somebody has told me that before. I was really? like, wow, that's very. Yeah. But I respect it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, somebody else liked it earlier. Exactly. They love my right. glitter. You know. <laughs> I respect it. Nice right. to meet you. No problem, too. <laughs> 
Oh, okay. Who popped? Who popped? Who popped? It was right here. Look at me walking past you. Your name and age, and why did you end up popping your balloon? My name is Kamina27. It's just a glitter comic because I love glitter. Like, I was actually going to wear some around my chest, oh, yeah. but I just didn't because I didn't have time. But. <laughs> right. Yeah, I love glitter. <laughs> wow. Okay, but is he someone that is your type? Yeah, he's very handsome, well groomed. I love the way he dressed. The watch is nice. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So, is she your type? No, yeah, she look good. Yeah, I like a little chocolate woman. Thank you. <laughs> but I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't like the bangs hairstyle. Like, I don't want to see more of your face. Oh, really? Yeah. I just decided to do this hairstyle to try something new. So, usually yeah. I don't have bangs, but. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's head on back. All right. So, for our remaining ladies, I'm gonna go ahead and have you ask them a question, help you narrow it down. Okay. Uh, what's your boundaries in a relationship? relationship okay let's start down there we always start here we'll right. go over there first uh-huh you're first <laughs> your name and age and what's your boundaries in a relationship let me think um my name is christina i'm 24 How you doing? i say my boundaries is like just overbearing and like don't know when to like give space okay that's yeah okay good yeah okay <laughs> your name age and what are your boundaries my name is Carrington. I'm 26. Um, I have quite a few, actually. Oh, yeah, okay. um, so one is arguing. I don't like arguing. We can discuss all day long, um, but yelling or being disrespectful, I'm yeah. not okay with that. Um, so that's for one. Um, <clears throat> there's quite a few. I don't. I'm trying to figure out how to word some of them. So uh, take your time. That's that's really my biggest one right now. Like I said, I'm in a place where. I can't, any form of abuse at all. Um, let's see, I do not do any type of infidelity situations. Uh, if it has to do with a woman, you can have it. Um, right. I deal with a lot of other stuff. It's fine. Relationships go through things. Women is not a thing that I will go through. Gotcha. Um, you know, there's probably a plethora of more, but those are my top two right now. Why is this lady standing like sexy red or pretty V? Yeah. Your name and age and what are your boundaries in a relationship? Hi, I'm D. I'm 27. I'm also from Philly. For real? Yeah. What part? <laughs> I live in Collindale. Not Philly, Philly, but Philly. Collin, okay. Yeah. What the hell that's a... up? <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Montgomery County? Uh, Delaware County. Delaware County, okay, yeah. okay. Um, what was the question? Sorry. Uh, what are your boundaries yeah, in a relationship? Your boundaries? Somebody that is not aware of themselves, mm. uh, and also to somebody that is not God fearing. Okay. Your name and age, and what are your boundaries in a relationship? Hey, I'm Tara. I'm 24 years old. How you doing? Um, good. How are you? I'm well. good. <laughs> um, I would say my boundaries. I don't like a man who is very like judgmental, who doesn't want to like understand if we have issues. Yeah. Um, who I don't like argumentative people like that get loud. Mm. Um, definitely nothing like physical either. Right. Um. For me personally, I do like move slower in relationships, so um, I like to get to know a person first. So right. um, definitely not like first week, like we're staying at each other's house and you know that kind you. of thing. So, hey, I understand, yeah. I understand. Yeah. 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 Your name and age, and what are your boundaries in a relationship? Hello, um, I'm Ish. I'm 28, and a couple boundaries for me would be like a guy that's. Mean, I can't do a mean guy. I don't want no no limit soldier. Yeah, I need somebody I soft with me. Yeah. Um, so that's really big for me. Um, another one of my boundaries will probably be uh, having autonomy. Uh, we're two individuals, even though we're in a relationship. So just respecting what one another does. Like you met me in a certain way. Don't try to change me once you're with me. Mm -hmm. So that kind of thing. All right. What are your boundaries? See, most of my boundaries, uh, I don't like a woman for like a lot of male friends. Like, I don't like all that, like, you know, so, uh, it's really, I would, I, honestly, I, I got more, but I, I would have to, like, we'll get to know more. Okay, yeah, for yeah, sure, you're so. good. Yeah. All right, so, now, with that being said, and, you mm -hmm. know, all the responses you've heard, you've seen them up close, all that good stuff, I am now going to have you pop two balloons. Two? Two of them. So, whenever you're ready, head on over. Let me move out the way. <laughs> Okay, and then one more. Uh, 
Okay, let's start with this one right here. So, um, Carrington, why did you have your balloon unpops for him? He's handsome. I like the way he talks. Um, eye contact. He gives a really masculine presence. Okay. Appreciate it. So why did we end up popping her balloon? Uh, honestly, I just like the other girls better. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> let's go over here. And so why did we end up uh, having our balloon unpopped? Um, I had it unpopped because I liked your energy. I liked the way you came today. You came dressed right. And yeah. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So why did we end up popping hers? Uh, again, like I just like the other girls better. She look good though. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> okay, let's head back. So we do have three balloons left unpopped. Go ahead and ask these remaining ladies another question. Mm. Uh huh. Uh, uh, what y'all do for a living? Okay, start here. I'm an artist, so I rap, and I'm also an entrepreneur. I own a digital marketing company, and I also just purchased my first two vending machines. Oh, yeah, that's what's up. Okay. Thank you. What do you do? Uh, so currently I work for state government um, in IT as an application developer. Yeah. Okay. And over here, what do you do? I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a personal trainer, and I also own a salon. Okay. <laughs> oh. You look like you wanted to say more. Or are you no, I'm just thinking. Just oh, thinking. Okay. That's all. Just thinking. Okay. Like. What are we thinking about? Shit. <laughs> I know. Look, he's already thinking, who am I going to pop? Because you know it's time. It is time to pop a balloon. Mm -hmm. All right. So to make it a little bit easier for you so you can, you know, get to know them a little bit more as well. Okay. Ladies, any questions for him? Okay. We got one down here. So when you're feeling low in your spirit, what do you normally do to uplift your spirit? Yeah, I like that question. So for me personally, what I like to do, I honestly like to go work out because it usually helps release. You understand? It helps me feel a lot better than what I'm going through in a particular moment. So whether somebody made me mad or whether I'm going through some hard or whether I'm going through some type of like stressful environment, me, for me, when I go into the gym, it kind of helped me release all that tension and energy out there like that, though. So, And then also, like, I may, I may have to call a loved one to just have, to have a, just talk about it. I may not go into detail about the situation, but I just, you know, just talk for a little bit. Then after that, I kind of get energized to go do what I need to do with it. So that's all. Okay. Do you have kids? No, I ain't got no kids. Yeah. I'm at the ass there. You can ask her, so you want to ask her? You, can yeah. you got kids? Not yet. Not yet? You can definitely tell this man favors Dr. the Berry women for sure because he do light up every time he see her. And she do have some beautiful skin. And I must say, she is wearing these black shorts. Even though she's not dressed formally in a dress like the other ladies, she still look classy with these shorts and the t-shirt on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any questions from either one of you? Uh, yeah. Um, so what's some things that you learned from like past relationships? Well, some things I learned from past relationships. Just, uh... uh... If you see the red flags, don't ignore them. Mm -hmm. Like when you see the red flags, take you know take take action, and then just probably dismiss yourself in the situation. Cause ain't cause honestly, when you try to like change people, it's it, it's just not gonna work. You understand them, mm -hmm. regardless of how, how regardless how hard like how you're coming off. Whether your your your, your conversation could be innocent, your conversation could come off as you know you just want to help the individual. But a lot of times they just don't see eye to eye. And it's yeah. just, so it is not. You just can't change people. So you would say you gave people like a lot of grace in like your past relationships? Uh, yeah, and I did. Yeah. I did okay. though. Yeah. Uh huh. I did. I used to give a lot of grace. Okay. okay. And I think you want to ask your your other question. Do you have any kids? Yeah, you got any kids? Uh, <laughs> no kids yet. No kids. Yeah, no kids. Okay. <laughs> any questions here? Yes. So, just for longevity purposes, how would you prioritize? Um wife, mother, children, like how would you rank them as far as a priority? Priority? Mm -hmm. For me personally, wife got to come first. It's less wife, because like, if the wife ain't straight, then the kids ain't going to be straight. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like, I have to make sure she got what she need. If she got what she need, then the kids, then, then she could take care of the kids and all that. Though, like, yeah, so like, for me personally, it's, it's God, of course. Mm -hmm. and then the husband doing what he got to do, but then the husband got to like, tend to the wife. Then when tend to the wife, then you can tend to the kids and all that extra shit. Right. So how would you, your rank is wife, yeah, children, yeah, wife, then? Yeah, wife. So for me, so it starts with God, me getting right, yeah. me getting right with God, mm -hmm. then me, and then the, the wife, and then the children. And then mommy. Then mommy. 
Like yeah. my mom? Yeah, that's what I asked. Like wife, I, mother, children. Yeah, How do you I prioritize mean, those? So it would be, it'll be wife, kids, then mom. Mom okay. gotta get her own nigga. Yeah. Okay. You feel me? Like, okay. <laughs> seriously. Yeah, I like, like this answer. And no, I don't have children. I'm a dog no, mom, though. Dog mom, but mm -hmm. okay, okay. <laughs> this is the 28 year old rapper, entrepreneur. She just bought vending machines. She is a nice looking woman and she's a dog mom. But something about her tells me she may be a lot more difficult in a relationship because she looks like she may have a lot of mouth and she talk back. But something about her just she's giving me chameleon vibes for sure. All right. So I hope that made it a little easier yeah, for you now. Did, okay, did, good, good. So I am gonna have you pop a balloon. Let's see. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> all right so why did you have your balloon unpopped for him um first of all i love his accent i love accents like all together <laughs> like i could just listen to him talk all day um he seems like he got himself like really put together he's really well groomed um i like the things he was saying um he's not like initially my type but i liked everything else about him so yeah, but he's very handsome thank you yeah. i appreciate it okay so why do we end up popping hers uh Honestly, I just needed to pop one, bro. <laughs> he did say he liked him like Chocolate Queens earlier, yeah, so I was yeah. going to pop after that because I want him to like have what he wants. Right, right, <laughs> but, right. um, yeah, I understand. Okay. All right, cool. Can I ask another one? To the, yeah. yeah, of course. Go uh, ahead. Where y'all from? Like, where y'all currently reside at? I reside in Michigan. Michigan? Yeah, the Detroit area. Oh, yeah? Not in Detroit, but around Detroit. Okay, okay. And then we know she says she's from Philly, but do you... Live there yeah. now? I'm originally from Africa, motherland, Liberia. Okay. But I live in Philly. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, unfortunate. Ooh. Okay, why do we end up popping? They seem like they would be well together since they're both from Philly. And like she said, he liked the chocolate queens. And just the look that he gave her just now, it was mm. given. <laughs> it was given, not me, so. Mm. Okay. All right, well, my chocolate queen, come on up here. Come on up. <laughs> All right, so any final questions between the two of you? Um, how do you, I'm sorry, how do you um, uplift your lady spirit when she's feeling down? How I, how I uplift my lady spirit when she's down? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, so for me personally, I, like, I try to give like positive affirmations. And if that don't work, I probably try to like maybe I take you somewhere, or we could probably get a workout done together. Just hope to build our vibe back up. You, know, you said you like working out, so I like, I like that. Cute. <laughs> yeah, I'm straight. Okay, well then, with that being said, is it going to be a yes for you for him? Yes. And is it a yes for you for her? Yeah. We got a match! <laughs> I'll take this mic, and you guys can go on up. Oh, let's make some noise for them, y'all! <laughs> Yeah, obviously, this is what these women like. They like men who clean up well and talk a little bit like Future, but with a Philly accent. But it looks like this man right here got him one. She's in the same city as him. So I do hope everything work out for him. Man, one time for the African women. But that's all I got in this video. You guys be sure to drop a comment down below and let me know what you can pick up from what women are into <laughs> just watching this video. And be sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.